So, Stephanie, uh, you are a voice actress, um, and you're predominantly known for, uh, you were in One Piece, uh, as well as Neon Genesis Evangelion. So those are huge, huge properties. Mm -hmm. um, so, first of all, just to kind of start out with, which, which, and with, with regards to One Piece, anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, what have you seen as far as like the the fandom for One Piece? Because it's for particularly with that one, that's a rabid fan group. Yeah. So what has that been like, especially with coming to conventions and stuff? It's been nothing other than fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fan base of One Piece. The the, the best people and like the best One Piece cosplay is like the best. Yes. And there's so many yes. characters to cosplay from One Piece. <laughs> there Do are so many characters. Many characters. <laughs> I know. Right? For years and years and hundreds and hundreds of episodes. <laughs> not that I'm complaining about that Absolutely whatsoever. Not. Do you ever not. see people cosplay your character? I do. I do. Um, I voice Nika Robin. And I, I don't see her as, as often as I would like. Mm. But, you know, she's okay. a tough one to pull off. She is. You know? She is. She's tough. But the cosplay I've seen has just been fantastic. And, yeah, you know, one anybody piece should, is really good for that. Should go for it. You know, it's not like you have to be exactly like the character. I no, think anyone of just appreciates Absolutely. the tribute. Yep. Because it's she's cosplay, just not so cause fabulous. Work. Yeah. Right, right. Play. <laughs> oh, I like that. I've never heard anyone say that. It's not cause work. It's cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> well, well put. Well yeah. put. But being a part of One Piece is just. It's been incredible, and just the love for this show and the devotion. Yeah, right. it's like one of the biggest anime communities, I would think, because it's been around so long, a million characters, so many episodes, the manga's still going. It's, like, absolutely insane. I personally love it. I love. Oh, you I, do? Yeah, I Wonderful. love One Piece. Nami's my favorite character. But uh, Well, I love Lucy Christian. And Tony She's Chopper. Fabulous. He's so mm -hmm. cute. Adorable. <laughs> like the cutest character. And I love yeah. Robin's relationship with Tony. Yes. It's so yes, sweet. And the, the thing is, thing. I'm yep. really good friends with Brina Palencia, who voices Chopper. Really? So it's Yeah. So it's easy to connect oh, with that character. That's the best. We're all, the core group there, the pirates, uh, the Straw Hats, we're all friends in real life. <laughs> oh, yeah. Which that's is nice. Yeah, that's that's the, the, like, that's it is. The, that's the best thing in the world. That's the cutest it's, thing. It's fantastic. I'm going to be thinking about that next time I watch One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> like, you guys all They hang really out. hang out sometimes and have dinner. And so like, a <laughs> one, like a One Piece bowling team? Yeah. Well, I can tell you right now, my friend, they wouldn't want me on that bowling team, but I will cheer everyone else on. <laughs> I need to work on that I'm left-handed, so when I bowl, it's like oh, in someone hard. else's lane. I'm just like, I'm just going to pull this over here. Yeah, I'm I've literally thrown the ball behind me before. Oh, I don't easy know to how do, it right? happened, yeah. but I, I did it, and I just, I just sat down like, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, we're good. I'm good. Yeah. Not a single drink in me, and I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> we're done. I'm fine. <laughs> you I'm might get better, you know. Here, cheer everyone else on. Be there for support mm -hmm. instead of hurting everyone flinging, you know, like 10 pounds. How much of those things weigh? Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's yeah. clearly been a while. <laughs> yeah, but one, one Piece has just been such, you know, I'm so thankful, you know, within my career to be attached to such you know, an incredible show with such wonderful, oh, interesting absolutely. characters. Yeah. You know, I yeah. always joke about the banana gators. Yeah. <laughs> the first time I saw yeah. a banana gator, I thought, what? <laughs> and I talk about these banana gators all the time because that was early on when I started recording. Mm. And, you know, our, our joke in the studio is, why? Because <laughs> One Piece. Because One Piece. <laughs> because One Piece. Yeah. That What's happening in the storyline? I can make wings yeah. with my arms. Because One Piece. Because One Piece. You know? <laughs> yep. And now I just love it. It's like, how zany and wacky and crazy can this show get? But then mm. at the same time, it turns right around yep. and is so heartfelt and will bring you to your knees in tears and then back to the zany. Yep. Mm. So it's just, it's so, just such, it's really, it's, it's brilliant that the concept in the show is very brilliant. lucky to be a part of that. I love it. Very mm -hmm. lucky. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. even Gillian as well. I know you play Yui Akari. You do? Yeah, which is Shinji's mom, mm -hmm. which is a very sad role to be playing <laughs> yes yes <laughs> a little dark for a little little dark yeah yeah and that's for the reboot right right that's for the yeah, reboot which is really mm -hmm. really good yeah. i'm a huge evangelion fan oh, as well fantastic so, yeah mm. um how is it playing uh yui you know it's the mothering characters it's funny before i became a mom i love the mothering characters anyway and it Aww. just yeah. nurturing mm -hmm. and and connecting you know with other people that naturally i think just falls into that mothering type of role. So I'm not going to say it was that difficult because it, it wasn't compared to some of the other things that I've voiced. Mm -hmm. mm. But um, it was just, you know, great to be a part of that property as well. Yeah, uh, no, Evangelion's great. It's good to, to be a part of that as well. What are some other projects you've done that you might, that might not be as well known? 
You know, I recently recorded uh, on a show called Show by Rock. Okay. And it's from the creators of Hello Kitty. And it's so delightfully, <laughs> blissfully, girly, sparkly, fun. Puppies covered in sugar. <laughs> such sugar. <laughs> such candy sugar. And it's not, you know, and of course there are battles, you know, to be had oh, in this show. There's always a battle, right? There's always a battle. Of course, yeah. <laughs> But um, it's a singing battle. And, um, oh. <laughs> and I love this show because, you know, I voice a lot of, you know, really strong, hardcore vixens and witches and warriors and moms. And moms. But, you know, these really hardcore characters like um, Olivier Armstrong and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and Claire and Claymore. You know, Arachne. <gasps> yes. Okay. Arachne and Soul Eater. But then I got to be a part of this project that's so girly. I don't have, you know, a magical girl voice that doesn't normally happen for me. <laughs> so to have, you know, a lower voiced female yeah. in a show that's all these bright, happy colors. And she's this diva. Yeah. You've got to check this show out. Okay. She's a cat. And <laughs> no, she's a beautiful sure. cat that's also a pop star. Oh, she's a pop okay. star cat. And she's yes. just so composed. I have to sit up straight when talking about her. She's so <laughs> composed and she always has this little pipe. And um, she really is a pop star that has these two <laughs> little backup singers that are always with her. And she's always schooling them. Also cats? On, um, yes. I, you know, I'm trying to remember exactly what they are. Because, you know, they're cats, but they don't really look like it. Right, they may okay. be titties, too. <laughs> but, um... And they're uh, just wonderful, this show. But um, she's always schooling them on how we should respect the arts. And they'll say, oh, that performance was fantastic. And she'll say, no, it's not. The second that you think that you are the best, you are, you're, you know, you're sacrificing your art. You have to be better. And just, whoa. And I would get out of the sessions and say, I need to write these things on Post-its and put yeah. it on my mirror in the bathroom. Like inspirational, like motivational. Completely. Like, Dara Dayu is the character. I'm like, Dara Dayu is schooling all of us right now. <laughs> You're voicing your own mentor. Exactly. Right. And I would just get out after each session. The wonderful Caitlin Glass directed the show. And I would just oh, love really? Caitlin. Mm -hmm. okay. And I would just tell her, I love this character. She's like, I know. <laughs> and then oh, she sings. Caitlin's great to and, work with. Oh, Caitlin's yeah. incredible. She's so talented. But yet she is so warm and loving and fun and funny, just fresh and cool to work with, oh. definitely. That's awesome. But, um, and then we sang this musical number in there that was, was kind of crazy. You know, <laughs> it's like, do they breathe? No, <laughs> they don't have to breathe, do they? Okay, we're going to punch in that part. But um, it, was, it was just really da 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 fast pace. Mm. I couldn't even, can't even remember it. It came in and then went out. But um, show by rock. Yeah, fun, fun show. But I'm glad you know you know Claymore. Oh, I love Claymore. Claymore is so good. The animation is beautiful. It's a cool story. Strong female leads. Like it's a Such good. Such strong female yeah. leads. I think we all became so excited mm -hmm. oh, at yeah. Funimation when we found out that property was coming, mm -hmm. and there were so many fantastic strong parts for all of us. Right. You know, and that doesn't happen all the time. No, no. it certainly doesn't. No. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really. So great. yeah, that show was intense. Oh, that's so cool. So intense. And I, I joke about, you know, Claymore, I would have to kind of decompress on the drive home after recording those episodes. Oh, yeah. And thank goodness I live like 20, 25 minutes from the studio. <laughs> because after four hours of, you know, you got to let it no, go. Yeah. And not road rage. Now it's time to put on right. Kenny G and drive home. Go huh? Kenny G. <laughs> Some Yanni. I'm not sure that would help, actually. <laughs> Why am I getting even more angry right now? What is this? Soprano saxophone. Um, yeah, <laughs> but seriously, yeah, I would have to make sure All I didn't, right. you know, la lash out at other cars, <laughs> yelling at them. That <laughs> Claymore I'm, road rage, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and get home, and Dave would be like, oh, you worked on Claymore today, the didn't Claymore you? The Claymore dub is so good, though. Oh, um, thank you. All the screaming thank on you. point is really good. I watched it in Japanese cool. originally, and then uh, I think I saw it on Crunchyroll, and I watched it dubbed, and I was like, this is pretty good. Good, actually. Excellent. Some dubs are a miss, unfortunately, but Claymore was really good. Thank you. And I, Evangelion's really, really, really good. Oh, good. As far as dubs good. go, like Thank everybody's you. on point. Yeah, yeah. Such yeah. fantastic yeah. directors. Mike McFarlane mm -hmm. working on Evangelion, so brilliant. Mm -hmm. And uh, Claymore had, we had a few different directors that were working on that. Todd Habercorn, Colin Clickenbeard. I think Vic even directed some episodes. Okay. So um, we had a few different people working on that property. But yeah, the, mm -hmm. um, the original Evangelion, too. Um, What's her name? That voice is Asuka. She's like one of my favorite voice actresses. Uh, Tiffany Grant, I want to say. Possibly. She does the original Asuka's voice, and it's like just so grating and annoying and perfect. <laughs> 
it's perfect because Asuka is like a really annoying character. Mm-hmm. Like a really annoying, like bratty 14 year old girl. <laughs> so when I watched the original Japanese, I, you know, it's good. It's Japanese, you know. And then I watched the dub and I was like, this is pretty good. Mm-hmm. So it's nice when that transition happens, you know, when yeah. the dubs are good. Yeah. Absolutely. We felt that way on Brotherhood or yeah. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Because yeah. there are some shows I've worked on. You know, like uh, Desert Punk. That was one of the first shows I worked on, mm-hmm. and I was, was my first lead role. Mm-hmm. And we had so much liberty on that show, just to be silly and to improvise, and you know, do that. Mm-hmm. Same thing with Shinchan. I'm Hari Nanako oh my gosh, on Shinchan. What a ridiculous! And what a ridiculously fun show, but yeah. so yeah. many liberties. We weren't yeah. 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 listening yeah. to the Japanese yeah. so intently during that show, right? I'm sure because yeah, we had just, you know you license to, to be insane, yeah. which, which is fun. It's fun to do that too. Just mm-hmm. go and I'd be like, waka waka, what we doing today but um with like full metal you know mike mcfarlane fantastic director of course he mm-hmm. wanted us to be you know we really wanted to honor the japanese interpretation and we would really listen to the cadence in their tone and um and i was when i was recording olivier we would we would listen to the japanese quite a bit before oh, yeah, you know yeah. yeah just to make sure or we would get something and go oh i love that i love that wait let's check was right. that the same intention right. that we gathered, you know, from the other? Of course. Mm-hmm. And, and that, you know, that's wonderful, too, to do such focused work. But mm-hmm. I think... And people don't realize how much know. research you need to do with the old series before you even start translating, you know, mm-hmm. everything oh, like that. Definitely. And just, you know... And as a director, mm-hmm. it's just an, it's an incredible, you know, the gift and the tenacity that you have to have right. to approach a project that is so well-loved. Yeah. And that, you know, obviously the Japanese is so fantastic and you want to honor that work mm-hmm. while creating your own work and your own art. And uh, boy, it was so much fun working on that. But I have to say, in the beginning, it's funny, I would wear, you know, boots like these to record just because it helped. You know, when you wear a boot or a heel, it changes uh, your gait and your yes. feel. Yes. And oh, I know. not that I always dress I for the well. <laughs> You know, when you wear heels, yeah. it doesn't just change everything. Oh, yeah, no. It's, it's, it's the, certainly a sense of danger I whenever powerful. I wear heels. I yeah. feel powerful. Don't you just feel fierce? <laughs> yeah. So fierce. Especially with the shoulder pads. I, mean, I, I just, know. <laughs> it's. it's <laughs> so true though boots make you feel like cool and tough and powerful Grounded. and like powerful boots like when when you put a heel on I'm, I'm already tall but when i put a heel on i feel like authoritative and my posture is better and you just feel like yeah. it changes you absolutely and i found that when i was recording brotherhood i thought you know because olivier is so tough yeah she is yeah. so hardcore and um when i first saw her it's funny mike said don't make her sexy hmm. don't do it i know i'm known for a lot of those voices with what I do, but he's like, don't do it. And I said, look at her. How could she not be? She's yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. It has. And he's like, nope, 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 nope. Just toughen her up, toughen her up. She's a general. You know, you know, she leads all these men at Briggs. I mean, you've got to toughen her yeah, up. And yeah. so when you're finding the voice, when you first start to voice a character, you know, you kind of work, you know, to, you don't just necessarily pop into it right. in the beginning because you're still discovering okay, what's th- what is this going to be? And I just started wearing boots to the sessions because it helps, you know, yeah. and stand. Good, yeah. Wide stance, hardcore. <laughs> now to give a delivery, it's like, okay, now let's yeah. do it times 10. More nails, more nails. And finally we got there. And I loved it. I loved going into my session like, all right, what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Eventually you're just like, coming into work like in a full suit of armor yeah. like, <laughs> if just, I had one uh, I believe it right I believe it right so <laughs> yeah I'm, I tend someone said oh you're so method I'm like you know normally so not good. but it helped it, it yeah. made a difference yeah, yeah absolutely it really did especially for women like the way you present mm-hmm. yourself and if you feel confident you mm-hmm. act a different way you know? absolutely mm-hmm. absolutely I feel you <laughs> yeah. yeah and you bring that to pretty much everywhere because you were even talking about and you know, in the show, you were talking about you know playing a you know a singing cat and how much of a diva. Like you change your posture as you're talking about it. So, right. like so, right. when you're, I can't imagine like in the recording booth how with mm-hmm. every character that you do, you're gonna change you know your posture and your attire and just mm-hmm. you know how scowly you may be. Like it's so much is in, in so much is informed when you're a voice actor. It's not just oh I make funny voices. It's no, it's it's rough. And every time someone's like I want to be a voice actor, I'm like yeah, no, you have <laughs> no idea. I have so much respect for voice actors just because there is way more to it than you think it is. And the fact that people think it's easy is a testament to how great of a job you're doing because it That's seems really nice. like it's easy when it's totally it's really not. Nice. Mm-hmm. Thank you. You know, when I was a theater, I studied theater in college and didn't really know much about the voice acting industry. Cause mm-hmm. It was all stage and from that to, you know, film and TV and things like that. But um, within, you know, in Dallas and... Uh, 
I'll never forget when I got the call to go in to, it was like a, I think it was more like a, it was an audition, mm-hmm. but um, my a dear friend, Laura Bailey, she was with my agent and said, hey, I've got this show right. and um, Gunslinger Girl, and I think that you might be good for a part in it. And that was a situation of knowing somebody, but I did not know about the world of anime. But that's usually from, I've talked to many a voice actor mm-hmm. and actress like doing this, and they all kind of say the same thing. They were doing acting or theater, and it was voice acting was all kind of happenstance. Yes. They I had a friend that was like, hey, why don't you come down to Funimation? Maybe you should uh, do this. Mm-hmm. And then when I found out about it, I said, oh, oh, this I love good. this. Yeah. This is I, li- good. I like how the pitch sounded like Mae West for a second, though. <laughs> why don't you come on do <laughs> some voice sometime? <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Once I discovered this world, I said, "Oh, I want to stay here. I want to play with everyone." Oh yeah. And let's let's do this. Yeah. And um, and you know, it's just been great ever since. But whenever when anyone asks me, you know, how do you become a voice actor? It's like you just need to be an actor mm. and see what happens. And hey, you might exactly. surprise yourself. Yeah. Right. There's voice acting, and there's a lot of other things that you can do mm-hmm. as well. Mm. But you know, let's be honest. It is nice to be able to go in the studio. You know, in yoga pants and your hair. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, just, don't I'm have not to sit down for that. two hours in makeup. Right, exactly. <laughs> right. The just, fact that every interview with a voice actor or actress has that one sentiment in it true, proves how true it is. Absolutely. <laughs> it's just so different than on camera. You know, <laughs> so different. And then you can just, the way you can just lose yourself and you get to portray all these different characters that, of course, on camera, you mm-hmm. can't do that. So it's nice mm-hmm. just to have the freedom to play a character, to voice a character Absolutely. like Claire that monsters out. You know. Yep. And so d- it's d- pretty d- nice sorry. day at the office. Do you feel <laughs> that it keeps your schedule uh, pretty free if you want to pursue any other theater aspects or anything else, uh, especially locally in Dallas, if yes. you want? Because Dal- Texas has got a nice theater scene about it, too. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm so absolutely. glad that you know that. Wow, well, my wife's family's all from there, so. Oh. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> I knew I liked you. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd love her. We then. do. There, <laughs> aw, I, I'm sure I would. Yeah. There are oh, there's so many opportunities, mm-hmm. and like many creatives, I'm involved in different, many different things. And the schedule is flexible, which is wonderful. And you can schedule your time to go in and record, and right. you get to go to conventions like this and meet all these fantastic people. Yes. Um, like I, I act in, uh, in yeah, theater and in a film, and you know we do commercial work too, mm-hmm. just because you know it's good to do as an actor. Absolutely. It's good to make money. Yeah. But another thing I'm really passionate about that I do with my husband is I'm a, um, a singer and a songwriter, and we have a band called the Brims Band. What? Yeah, I know, right? That's right. It's a jazz band, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's jazz. Oh. Jazz and our original stuff is more jazz pop, but we play a lot in the jazz scene. We, mm. we play about 100 shows a year. Nice. And, awesome. Um, <laughs> why didn't so that's you why when I booked the singing cat, I was really excited. Oh, yeah. There we go. You know? we, should, we should have booked the band. That makes sense. You guys should have performed for us for them. Dude, you should have booked we, the band. We, we have played conventions. We're putting a word in. We're putting a word, word in. in. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yeah. I want to hear this. We should. We have yeah. a talk show that we do. We need a band. Hey, <laughs> hey, I know. Missed <laughs> <laughs> opportunity. That's uh, so cool. No. Oh, thank you. Not thank anymore. You. It's cool. It's one of our, our passions, and I love it. And, um, yeah, we're on Pandora, too, if you want to check oh, us out. Oh, cool, yeah. Brim, yeah, of course. Yeah, absolutely. And people are like, Brim, what's that? Well, that's my married name. Uh, and so, oh, Stephanie okay. Young. I was Stephanie Young for a long time before I met the fabulous David Brim, animator extraordinaire. Jimmy Neutron, what? Yeah, I've heard of that. So, he, he worked <laughs> on that show and many others. But, um, yeah, music is a huge part of our life. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I'm thankful for this schedule yeah. that has flexibility. Right. I hope you find more singing roles. Oh, like me too. Me How too. Fun you know be? what? Another one that just comes to mind that was one of the first times I sang for Funimation because I've done some theme songs and things like that. But um, it was in the Subasa Chronicles. It was a little while back. But um, there is a Clover Club within this universe of the Subasa Chronicles, okay. and there is a jazz singer. Oh, okay. Right, yeah. right, right, right. <laughs> uh-huh. Oruha, and oh my gosh, she was incredible. Just. She kind of looked like Cher, but Uh. young Cher. But um, (laughs) that sounds terrible. Cher is, you know, she's an icon, right? That's okay. Huge dig on Cher out of nowhere. I did not dig on Cher. I didn't. I didn't. I just didn't. You know, now I don't know what your image is of Cher. (laughs) Okay, right, right, younger Cher. Cher now still looks incredible for her age. Absolutely. But um, the gown and this hair. She had that Cher hair, that curly black mane, and Colleen Klinkerbeer directed, and I was so excited. 
because she says, I've got a jazz singer in a show and you're doing it oh, and yeah. I cannot wait. And we had so much fun recording that and I said, I want, I yeah. would love to set up like a Clover Club at a con, but I know that it'd be adults, but you know. And no, we like could probably make oh, it happen. Yeah, no, 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 we've been working, we've been pushing on him as long as possible. So yeah, <laughs> one day so. he'll break. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, but it is nice as a voice actor. You know, you can do different things. Right. Yeah. You know? And my husband and I also have a child. We have a two-year-old. And much love Aww. for the littles, the little I one. I love nuggets. Little one. But that's another nice thing about being a voice actor. Yeah. The first year that you have your blessed child, and blessed <laughs> child does not sleep. You are very thankful to go in the booth without a camera. I, <laughs> oh I don't goodness. doubt. Oh my goodness! Absolutely, I can only imagine. Yeah. So you know, it's 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 great. I'm just so thankful. Or just to crawl, just to go in a booth and be like, "Hey, there's no vomit anywhere. This is yeah. fantastic." <laughs> right? I don't have to wipe your mouth off or anything. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're good on your own. You can do it all. Just, you're behind glass, and We're you, good. Can, you can do your own thing. Yeah. And now I'm, I'm going to be a warrior. I don't, <laughs> to, I don't have to leave this room to check on anyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. You Funimation people are like adorable. Like well, the cutest you. little family. Aww. Every time I talk to yeah. Funimation people, like uh, Animate a couple months ago, I got to talk to uh, Ian Sinclair. <gasps> Ian. Mm, that's oh. everyone's reaction when I say oh, his name. Oh, yes. <laughs> like, oh, my God, yeah. oh, I just have to hug him right now. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he's wonderful. He's such a good he's director. He's a so wonderful funny. actor. And he's an amazing director, too. Wait, yes. Yes, because he directed Spice and Wolf. He did, which yes. is great, and I wish more people would watch it. Yeah, it's really, it's really such good. a good show. Yeah. I uh, voiced Eve in Spice and Wolf, and oh, okay. we got to work with him on that. And he's oh, just, was that awesome? Oh, incredible! It's like facetious question, obviously. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> it was awful. Yeah, terrible. Yeah, it was awful. I mean, he Not communicates Ian. with his actors so well. Ooh. I hated it. Um, who else? I I interviewed somebody uh, a couple months ago as well, who. I was talking to him, and I knew he was like on, a, on Attack on Titan, I believe, and some other things. But I was like, where else have I heard your voice? And he's like, uh, say yes to the dress. The like voiceover for oh, say yes funny. to the dress. And I was like, what? Wow. <laughs> so weird that I know that. <laughs> Are you planning a wedding? <laughs> no. Okay. It's just why it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. Just watching that show crying. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> so lonely. So no. Doubt it. <laughs> no, no, no way. No way. No way. My boyfriend lives in London. It's I'm very lonely. Oh my goodness. Yeah. But do you get to see boyfriend in London? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's I do. nice. So, yeah, I was just there for London. Yeah, it was nice. Not yeah. bad. Rainy, but you know. <laughs> yeah, it's so different here. It's not too bad. Fish and right. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. It was funny because I left London and it was like just drizzling and cold right. and I was like can't wait to get home to Florida and I get off the plane and it's drizzling in like the uh, first yeah. cold night of the year and I'm like cool <laughs> what is this what is this I guess world. that's a nice thing about being at conventions in a way like this one it's it's a big yeah. con and a big yeah. facility that mm -hmm. you sort of it's like Vegas you kind of forget the rest of the world exists yeah totally gone oh there's my no God. clocks here yeah. just like Vegas no clocks there's like <laughs> no, right. time doesn't exist I know I'm here. surprised <laughs> that they don't have the sky painted somewhere <laughs> like they do so you just think it's day all the time oh my god! but gosh. you just lose track and in a way it's, it's wonderful you just get enveloped in this little world of, mm -hmm. of love and happiness yes that um, you just you know I know that we can get to everything we need to get to from the hotel without having to go outside so uh -huh. that's been really good this weekend, hasn't it? Bring your boat. Bring your boat. And the weirdest thing about a convention, it happens to me every time because we we're in Central Florida, so sometimes we'll have to drive back, and like sometimes we'll stay the night because we're old, and like we'll stay the night at a hotel, Stop. and you sit at the Continental Breakfast, and you just be like, why is everybody cosplaying as a family? I don't get this. <laughs> like you just yeah. you're where's the nine foot tall Pikachu, and you know, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. where's the guy in the bikini for some reason? And <laughs> it's it's weird. It's like this weird shell shock. We're like, oh, I have a real world that I have to get back into. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is so yeah. weird. When you leave a con. Mm -hmm. You get so like like this is like everything is like normal like right. all these weird characters are normal and then <laughs> you go back home and you're like oh life's boring. <laughs> When's <laughs> the life's next boring. one? Yeah, exactly. I was at a convention once and I invited an old high school friend of mine that I'd kept in touch with and he said hey you know so you're going to be in town I was like yeah I'm at a convention I didn't say what. All right. I met a convention. So uh -huh. I'm assuming he's not familiar with this world. No oh, clue. Womp, womp. Surprise. Like yeah. married father of four children, oh, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah a, a, come, an attorney. Come to this thing. You know, I'm like, he's going to show up in his khakis. It's going to be great. <laughs> so sure enough, you know, I didn't say a word. Yeah, and I just yeah. sort of waited in the lobby and watched him walk in. And just the, just 
Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and it was one of those cons. That's there were some the crazy best. characters walking around in the lobby, you know. That's some the Some really crazy ones. It was, it was priceless. He just <laughs> walks in looking around like, I thought they'd be selling boats or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Oh, yeah, it's not like I, a, you know, I want some aluminum convention. siding here. <laughs> <laughs> and he just looked at me and he goes, Young, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm like, let's talk. Right. <laughs> Welcome to my, my world. Yeah. Yeah, kind of different from mm-hmm. high school, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, so, thank you very... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep us no, the time. I'm <laughs> sorry about that. I no, know we have a signal. We're good. We don't, we're good? Yeah, right. we're good. Huh? Um, I had one other question because you were ta- with, you're talking about, you know, being a jazz singer and then also doing voice acting and, and doing theater. You know, there has to be a, a musical that you've been in. What is your... All time. Mm. Oh yeah, good. Both two things. What is your all time favorite musical, and what is a musical that you thought would be good, but you're just like, oh, never again. You always have a down spot. I just, uh, yeah, and you're, I you're, do, and it's being recorded for all time. <laughs> yeah. okay. You don't have to answer the second one. I know. I'm like, I can't throw those people under no, no, the no, bus. No, 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 that's It's good to be fine. working, but the yeah, first one. Let's go happened. positive. Okay, first one um, yeah. that I was in, or just that I love. Just what's one, one, actually, let's, we'll make we that the two part question. The one that you were that's in good. and one the one in, that you one love that, that you'd like to be in. Um, oh man, gosh, that, that's tough. Um, there was a show called Company mm-hmm. that I was in, Sondheim. Right, you know? yeah. And we had just a fantastic <laughs> cast. I was one of the girlfriends okay. in it. And, um, and the girlfriend, it's funny, I, I can move, but I'm not technically a dancer, dancer. And um, they did not have a dance call for this audition. They just said, oh, yeah, she can dance. I mean, I'd moved in other shows before. <laughs> but this character, and it was at a big theater in Dallas, right. Water Tower Theater, very well-respected, uh-huh. you know, theater. And um, I had a dance solo in this thing. And I remember it was terrifying. But that's one of those things. I mean, they made it work, right. you know, for what I could do. Mm. That there were all these levels that I had to dance, th- dance around. And I think the choreographer just had me flinging, you know, this is a long time ago, flinging my blonde hair around at the time and, you know, just moving about the stage. It was, it was interesting, but it was so much fun. Mm. So much fun. Mm. And just one of, those, one of those situations where it pushes you. Right, yeah. Um, yeah. But I also have to mention there was another musical I was in called Swing. And there were four okay. main singers in Swing. <laughs> And um, it's it's basically all big band and jazz, right. so, and fabulous dresses and <laughs> like you know those flight. 1950s, like yeah, yeah, the the nice. forties, and it's just yeah. so great. And um, actually, I met my husband um, while I was doing that show. Okay, so, okay. Mm, it's he, funny. I'd auditioned. Was for, he involved in swing? Is no, that no. I, I, I had auditioned for his band. Ah. <laughs> a friend of Meredith McCoy who voiced Android 18 in awesome. the Dragon Ball universe okay. she's That's also really cool. a singer and his band had, was looking for a jazz singer for a wedding gig mm-hmm. and so they asked Meredith if she could do it she was not available and so she contacted me we were also the same agent and said hey there's this group looking for a wedding singer you know, would you want to sing a jazz wedding gig and I was like yeah and so I was able to invite him and some of the other members of the band to come to this musical which was a great audition of sorts because, oh, yeah. you know, you've got an orchestra and <laughs> costumes, you know, and that's, that's a nice way to get to know somebody. And, um, yeah, we had no idea. We, we played together for three years before we started dating, you know, mm. and before oh other, my you know, that that's led awesome. to, that yeah. So we're very thankful for the music. Um, shows, I, there was an original operetta that I was in, and I don't want to name it, but <laughs> let me just say that one of the scenes, the cast made a huge glockenspiel out of their bodies, and, oh. and I remember s- big set pieces falling, and Ooh. you know, it's kind of hard to be a cuckoo clock, it's tough, yeah. it's hard yeah. to be a singing cuckoo That's clock some days. <laughs> That should be written somewhere. Yeah. You know? yeah. it's, 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 it's hard to be a cuckoo Rough, clock. It's hard to be a cuckoo clock. It's so now. hard. Yeah. It's a struggle. Yeah, that was one of those interesting shows. Right. That Where's that 10 sign at Home Goods? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. Push through. Yeah. You got it. Ding, a ding, message ding, of hope. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, no, 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 no. So. Oh. No one has asked me that before at a convention. <laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm. We is don't there, always go into the world of musical theater, you know. Is there a musical that you would that you've never done that you'd love to do? Yes. Uh huh. West Side Story. Ah, who? Anita. Oh, okay. It's never Anita. going to happen because I'm so Anita. Yeah, I've uh, said that. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be in America. I love that show. Oh, it's yeah. just one of my all-time. F- I mean, come on, West I Side. Think it's, it's, no, it's classic and. That dancing, if I was, you know, that kind of dancer. Mm-hmm. Just, yeah, Anita and West Side Story. <laughs> yeah. Great answer, yeah. yeah. Love it. 
Yeah, that is, that is a great answer. It's a great... Oh. Yeah. I would love to be in any kind of musical, especially a West Side Story, but unfortunately, I move like a pile of wet spaghetti. So. I don't think Maria has to move so much, so there yeah. you go. Yeah, you okay. could be just, you know... There you go. Just a girl named Maria. Yeah. She's a soprano, but maybe you can do that. Mm-hmm. So there Probably you go. not, but I'll <laughs> give it my all. You, yeah, you, you want to fight over Krupke? <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm good. You can be Officer Krupke if you'd like. That's, hey, that's a hit. That number is a hit. Yeah, I'm absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's the song and everybody, it's, it's the song that Robert De Niro sings Krupke and analyzed that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Stephanie. Thank it's you for been having me. It's been so much fun. You guys are so much fun.